What is going on, YouTube? This is Vice Speaking, and welcome back to some more Octopath Traveler, man. In the last episode, we began Ulbricht's story, and my goodness, are things epic at this very moment. But that's not what's important. What's important is what happened in the last one, man. We we got a glimpse into Ulbricht's past. We saw that he was this insane warrior who could seemingly fell any foe. But as he was battling, he noticed something was amiss. He went back to check up on his king and he witnessed his best friend, presumably, slaying the king in front of him. So now we're in present day and Ulbricht really is lost as far as what he wants to do and what his purpose is. Now at this very moment, this village is under attack and we need to go see what the heck is going on. Ah. These dirty peasants don't know their place. <laughs> we outnumber them, surround them. Stick a blade in their necks for the boss finds out Swineherd slowed us down. That's, uh, Do your worst, you brutes. That's right. You'll not be getting past us. Damn it. Dang it all. These swineherds know how to fight. Look. Sir. I swear on my blade. Good work, men. You did well to hold them off. But I'll take it from here. And who in the heck are you supposed to be? <laughs> He's a bleating fool if he thinks he can take us all. Mm. Oh. So you has got a fancy blade, eh? I know your sort. Hedge Knight. I've cut down my share of your betters. This music is epic right oh. now! <laughs> I'm telling you, this one's trouble. Indeed. You both have the right of it. I'm but a common hedge knight, with no name to speak of. How about you? But if you come looking for trouble, you found it. <laughs> Stow it, or I'll cut your tongue out! I... Enough prattle! Let's skewer in. Man, here it is! How about you? Let's get it, Ulbrich. What are we gonna do to start here? Um, I'm thinking we abide right now. Hit with two level slashes, maybe, or just one. But for now, I know I'm gonna abide. Abide by the laws of physics, that is. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that made no sense. Uh, so now, I'm gonna level slash. And if it breaks the two in the back, which it does, I'm probably gonna charge up all the way and hit another one. Bro, this game is so hype. I just... Oh my gosh, there's so much excitement and anticipation. Uh, yeah, level slash, easy money. Boom! Oh my gosh, bro. Dang! He actually just handled business. You... You can handle a blade, hi. But this ain't the end of it. When the boss hears about this, you're a dead man, you hear? We'll see about that, won't we? Oh, my boy! Hey, come on! Let me go, you ugly- Yeah! Hmm? Philip is in danger. Oh, Berg, sir. They... They took him from me. My poor Philip. He was trying to protect me. Those... those animals! Dang it all. Forgive me, sir. There were so many of them and... It doesn't matter now. We have to save the lad. Let me see. We know where they are now. Hold up in a cave, deep in the mountains. Indeed. Then let's go! Gods only know what they'll do to him. Wait. But sir, we have to do something. They might kill the boy. No. If you leave now, who will protect the village when the thieves return? No. You would be playing right into their hands. Uh -oh. God's a mercy. Is there nothing we can do, sir? I see. I'll go after the boy. <laughs> Alone? But sir, even you. Mm. You stay and guard the village. At least until you're sure they're not coming back. Oh. Chief? Forgive me. 
You are the boys, our only hope. Can you do this, Berg? As you wish. Consider it done. Oh, heavens. Please, sir, bring him back safe. I swear on my blade. You have my word. And so I must go and save the boy from those ruffians. What's that you say? You wish to lend me your aid? Hmm. You seem like you could hold your own on the battlefield. It would be my honor to call you a comrade. Philip has been taken to the brigand's den north of the village. We must make haste. And just like that, Ulbrich has joined the party. I am so excited because this man is an absolute Chad. And when I say Chad, bro, this man is a Chad. I don't know what ways I can say it different that can make you understand just what that means. But man is a dang. He's a Chad. He's a chat. I don't know. I, I'm tweaking right now. Don't even mind me. I'm literally actually tweaking. Um, Man, we can get this beast of a sword for 7,500. Not many more weapons that we can get, however. This one is better for Tressa, but it's like, I don't know. This one is good for regular defenses. I think I'm gonna focus on the great sword for now, actually. Ulbrich being the new character. Let's let's hype him up a little bit. Let's support our mans. Equip that. And now oh my goodness, bro. He's about to be hidden hard. Uh can't think of anything else I would want. I don't know if I want to use the rest of my money, is the thing. Or do I? Oh, I can't decide! Um, guys, I'm gonna go around town for a little bit, just because I couldn't at the start of the episode. I'm going to try to, um, uh, what is it, inquire some people. I might challenge this guy since he's blocking this door, and just do some general town stuff, and I, I think I'll cut to when I'm done with that. Alrighty, so I am gonna stay at the inn real quick, just because I spoke to somebody who gave me an inn discount, so... It's a free stay, and that is always nice. Uh, Berg, sir. The brigands are holed up in yonder cave. I'm sh it's surely the most dangerous, sir. Best prepare well before setting out. Uh, I think I'm ready. Danger level four. Oberk is sure to be level four by the time we get to the end of whatever cave this is. Um. Oh, okay. It might be a little bit of a little bit of a path before we get there. My goodness, I slur my speech so much because I try to talk so fast I don't even need to. Alright, Ulbrich is up to level 3. He might just be level 4 before we even get there. Now, what the heck is going on over here? Light soul stone. I will gladly take that. Hmm. Nothing over there. Got a little save. Ready or not, Ooh, okay. Come. Never seen either of these guys before. Let's do um, I want to try wind, but I'm going to guess bows on the bird. The giant falcon. Yep. There it Victory is. Shall be mine. As for Ulbrich, why not? A rockadillo. Interesting name. Now Cyrus. Uh, mm, fireball. Well, no. Wait a minute. Ah, just go with it. Neither of them. Well, at least they're down. Nice. And he actually is. Just that fast, up to level 4. Mm, I want this. Old coin, not bad. We good? I think we're good. Listen to this music right here. This is so beautiful.
Oh my gosh, bro. Sounds like something out of like fairy tale if there's like some emotional moment going on. I mean the anime fairy tale. Which by the way, I love unpopular opinion. People love to hate on fairy tale. It's not even that bad. Literally everybody can shut up. They give the most dumb reasons as to why fairy tale is a bad anime. It's not even that bad. I actually love it. All right. Random tangent out of nowhere is random, but I just had to make it known. Okay, let's do this. Oh, look who's come. Have you lost something, Hedge Knight? Mm. Move aside before I cut you in two. Oh. You have courage, I'll give you that. Just who are you, anyway? Never seen no Hedge Knight swing a blade the way ye do. Indeed. Then you'll step aside, if you know what's good for you. The hell? You're on our land now, Hedge Knight. We give the orders here. <laughs> you have skill, but you're a man like any other, and you'll bleed as red. Get him! You can try it if you want to. But I do happen to be Oberg Eisenberg, so I just wanted to let you know before we really got in the mix. Um, no one to analyze. I don't want to really waste SP, so I guess I'll just have Cyrus bop this guy since he's the strongest. Uh, Ulberic will go for a level slash. I will cut you down. I just, I, I do love spamming level slash. It's really good. My turn now. And I really don't even mean to a lot of the time. I just end up spamming it. Do damage to the... To the stronger guy, and then hit another level slash. Boom. Look at the numbers, bro. Just look at the numbers. And that was two, I believe. It wasn't even three BP. Nice healing. Great. Good stuff. Be strong, lad. I'm coming for you. Okay, here we go. Nice. This is the Brigand's Den. And Cyrus's skill will hopefully allow us to find a lot more treasure without getting into so many battles. Nice fire, Soulstone. I like that. Just right here. That's a Copper Lantern. Wow, I don't think I've ever gotten that item. I definitely do not recall the name. Open for business. Okay, these guys are different, and they happen to have a wind weakness. Interesting. Oh, I did not realize level slash was 9 MP. That's a lot. Uh, but it's just so satisfying just breaking three enemies at once. Oh, boy. Um, oh, I do have Trade Tempest. Huh. Oh yeah, I remember now. I got it. What is the logical course of action? Um, next, Cyrus can hit with a... I've tried and figure out that other weakness. I'm gonna guess ice, because they're humans. Dang it, I was wrong. Oh well. Good stuff. Up to level 5 for Ulbrich. We got this guy. Any other chests? Yep. Plum. Good stuff. I will save here. Oh my goodness. Just that fast. That was barely a dungeon at all. Do tell me about this friend of yours. Knows how to fight, does he? That's right! He sure does! He's stronger than all of you put together! You won't stand a chance. Hey, come on. It, it's not a joke. Stop laughing. You hear that, <laughs> mates? Help. The Hedge Knight's the strongest blade in the realm. <laughs> if he thinks he can best us all, he's more a madman than knight. <laughs> this ain't a fairy tale, boy. Real knights don't piddle away their days in the company of swine herds. <laughs> if he's a knight from the stories, a damsel in distress might serve as better bait. Reckon we should go back for the mum? Hey, 
S stop it. You won't be laughing when Sir Berg is through with you. <laughs> Sir Berg, now there's a frightening name. Look, me arms all a-trembling. Shut up, all of you. <gasps> Boss? I reckon the boys got more courage than a lot of you, and more wits to boot. So less yammering and more sharpening your stabbers. But boss, ain't no way the hedge nattle follow was here. Unless he's mad and all. That's right. Aye, it ain't like it's his own son or nothing. Why should he care? <laughs> Why indeed. Things could get interesting though, if he does show. Always had a soft spot for men with more courage than sense. Yeah. Like the boy here. What do you say, laddie? Care to join our little family? We're always looking for men to pluck, or men with pluck. Not on your life! I'll never join you. I'm going to be a brave warrior, like Sir Berg. <laughs> you hear that, men? The boy says he's too good for banditry. Think you're the only one who feels that way, boy? Let me tell you something. Hmm? What is it, boss? Sir! Sorry I'm late, lad. Got held up along the way. Ooh! Hi, look. It's the mighty Sir Berg in the flesh. He is mad. And how did he get in here anyway? Where are the lookouts? Bleeding in the dirt, last I saw. Oh my gosh, Olberg! Man, get your money! Also, listen to the music. Ooh. Sir! Stay back! Did, did, did he just. He parried the boss's blow! Daddy did. Hang me, but I ain't never seen no one do that before. You're quick, all right. And strong. Clearly, no common hedge knight, are you? Just as you are no common brigand. Hmm. I'm played. Like it do. Oh, I love this theme. It just so happens oh, to be a present off. from an old friend. Earhart? Hmm. Oh, you know the man, do you now? So it is his blade. As if I needed another reason to cut him down where you stand. Here it is, bro. This is Ulbricht's theme. Pre-boss theme. But still. And this one's epic, bro. <laughs> How do you know Earhart's rogue? Speak, or I'll slice your throat. <sighs> You've got a score to sell. Is that it? I can see it in your eyes. They blaze like fire when you said his name. Look, I don't know what passed between you and Earhart. But if you're looking to ask questions of me, my good sir, you'll have to earn the right! This is the transition. I will not fail. Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? It's decisive battle two, and it's the most epic boss theme you've ever heard, man. Yasunori Nishiki, I know I've said his name about a million times, but are you kidding me if you're not banging your head to this nonsense right now? Bro, get the heck out, bro. No, 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 no. Get the heck up out of my face if you're not popping off right now. This is decisive battle two, bro. This song is famous. Let me chill out, bro. Let me chill the heck out. This is Gaston, and he brings with him henchmen. As you can see, these guys have lots and lots of defense. And by defense, I just mean they got a lot of shields that you need to take down. I'm going to test their wind weakness, and we do have two candidates. Now, as for Cyrus, I feel like if I remember correctly, he has an electric weakness? Oh, I was right. Awesome. It's always a good feeling when you guess right, bro, but... <laughs> I am sorry. If you're not playing this game for yourself, then I'm sorry you have to sit here and endure my weird sound and voice. 
I really wish you could sit here and listen to this theme right now because it pops off, bro, in the in in the <laughs> in the most epic way. Like, <clears throat> man, oh man, oh man. Like, I gotta contain myself because it's. I get it, it, bro. There's nothing for me to say. There's nothing for me. If you're not popping off on your own, there's nothing for me to say. There really is not. Uh, we got three turns ahead of us. There's one guy left to take his turn. What do I want to do? Uh, I'm probably going to abide and spam level slash. Wilbrick's <laughs> voice actor, an absolute beast. Um, I want to try and get rid of the henchmen, so I'm going to hit him with a fireball. He might have a fire weakness as well. No, he doesn't. Fair enough, fair enough. And of course, he went after Cyrus, so I'm going to have... Trust to use a healing grape. Man. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you actually... I I did not know he could do that. But no. Cyrus is dead. Just like that. Listen to th Bro, listen to this part of the size of battle. It's just so epic. Just listen. I mean, the dang key changes, bro. The dang key changes. It's so hype. Oh my. In this part right here, listen to the horn. Bro, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna. I promise I'm not gonna keep talking your ears off, but. I, I I genuinely think you might need some type of help if you're not going nuts when this song kicks up. Are you kidding me right now? Bro, I need to see the crowd go crazy. Like you've never seen this before, bro. All right, let me, bro, focus on the dang fight. Focus on the fight. I've been talking long enough. Oh, I'm gonna hit with a level slash. Big damage, big damage. Cyrus is up next. Um, they're on yellow. I do think just because I want to try collecting with Tressa before I kill them off. But even still, I kind of want to just go crazy. Besides, I mean, they can take the hit anyways. Goodness. Ooh, Ulbricht's hurting, and he probably has the lowest defense of all three of us at this point, just because he's so, or he's such a low level. Um, they're all three about to take their turns, so I probably should just take them out. I'm gonna miss out on the collection. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get the money, but it is what it is. As long as he doesn't target Ulbrich, we should be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good stuff. Nice on Chessa, taking that fat hit. That was good. Um... Now, as for Cyrus, just because I'm curious, I'm going to have him use this turn to analyze. I actually, I wonder, if you use BP with analyze, can you reveal more than one weakness? I never even thought of that. I have to try that at some point. That actually sounds really interesting. Oh, I could have been, oh, I could have been hitting him with a stave this entire time. Well, that's a good weakness to know. I'm actually glad he revealed that one. That's really good. Um, I'm gonna abide once more. What am I gonna do with Tressa, though? <laughs> this part of the song is so epic, and all the key change does is just make it that much more epic. This phrase ends and you think it's over, but then it ramps up even more! And it just sounds like such a dire situation, man. Like, oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, his health is still white. Let's see here. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I'm actually going to just do one hit like that. He has a level slash of his own, and Ulbrich, being the beast he is, lives on 4 HP. 
that might be the first time that's ever happened to me, that they lived on such a low amount. Uh, Cyrus can't really contribute much, so I'm going to have him hit with a stave twice. That's a really useful weakness for him to have. Oh, but they both need to be healed. What are we going to do here? Uh, I wish I had something that could heal multiple people, but I do not, in fact. Ah, uh, dang it. Dang it. Probably Ulbrich, uh, just because obviously 4 HP. Nice. Actually, we could break him. Oh, he's taking two turns this turn. Actually, we kind of probably do want to break him. Yeah, now that I think about it, because that's going to delete a ton of turns. Because he was charged up, actually. Oh, my goodness. That's what I didn't think about. He was charged up. After you, I mean, you probably saw all that purple energy type smoke emanating from him. He was... I mean, you saw the amount of turns he was about to take. He's about to take like four turns. So uh, that's really good. I'm going to just be frugal or I'm not going to be careless with my SP and hit it with a lightning bolt because I don't care. Because he's broken. Um, yeah, that deleted a lot of turns, which is really good. Um, man, I spent so much time freaking out over Decisive Battle 2. Because, like, I was expect I What I thought happened is that for every first boss fight of a character's story, they play Decisive Battle 1. And then for the second chapter of their story, then they play Decisive Battle 2. But this is Ulbricht's first fight, or first boss fight, and they're playing Decisive Battle 2. I was not expecting that, so <laughs> I had to pop up. I thought it was going to be so much longer before I would have had the privilege to absolutely gush about Decisive Battle 2. But no, we are here, bro. We are here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're taking chunks out of him, but pretty dang slowly. I'm going to have Chessa heal herself. Rest would have been nice to have for her. Um, but we got a decent amount of healing grapes, and we don't use them very often, so I'm not too worried. Chess is up to five, that's nice. Back to Ulbrich. Um, I'm going to hit with this. His, um, his spear is really weak, because I never bought him a new spear, so he's not going to be doing barely any damage with that. Uh, we don't want to try to... Try, what? We don't want to try to collect until he's broken, just because it's always harder. Actually, oh, it's 80% with 2 BP. I actually want to try that. Thank you. Are you kidding me? What is the Another reason why I despise this game sometimes. The same thing with scrutinizing and collecting. They'll give you an 85% chance or something like that, and then you'll fail. And it's just such an utter waste. It's like, come on, guys. Really? Like, what are we doing? Oh, boy. Recording's at 33 minutes, so I better wrap this one up fast. Uh, hmm. I'm going to have Cyrus actually hit once and then hit three times on the next turn. Ulbrich can abide because he's about to be broken. Uh, don't kill anyone, please. Please. I literally begged you. Okay, it's fine. Um, but Cyrus was supposed to break him. Dang it, man. Let's use an olive. He's gonna be broken anyways. Actually, this will make it easy. We hit him three times with the spear. Boom. There it is. Cyrus is gonna come in. He's still on white health. Have I been doing anything? My goodness. It is two weaknesses. To be honest, I kind of just want to, just for the sake of it. Daggers are nice. Good to know. Um, Oberg is charged up as far as attack goes. Um, I feel like just attacking would do more damage than level slash. Man, that was like 400 something. Um, and trust him. 
We gotta collect now, right? Yeah, come on. Beautiful. It's free money. I can't resist. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to use a healing grip on Ulbrick. Oh my gosh, bro. The music just... It, it makes it so that you cannot possibly be bored during any of these boss fights. Not a single one. Uh, so we're back up to six. Nothing else that Tressa can do, so I'm just going to hit his weaknesses. And we're going to do this for a little bit. Boom. Victory shall be Ulbrich. <laughs> Boom. He goes after Ulbrich, so I'm going to have Tressa do that. Ulbrich can then do that. Beautiful. I'm going to hit with ice. Decent damage. Very, very decent. Ulbrich's got three. This might just be it right here. Uh, well, nope. He did a lot less damage than I thought he would do. Uh, let's hit with another ice. Who cares about SP? He's so close. He's so close right now. Tressa, baby? Dang it. Man. Come on. Like, how close can you be? I just gotta try to take him out at this point. I have to try and take him out. I'm not gonna break him, which really sucks because he's about to take two turns. Oh, I didn't realize Tressa couldn't take her turn! Oh. That's so cheap! That's actually the cheapest thing I've ever seen! You used that absolutely cheap move twice in a row. Wow. Wow. Um, just because I don't know if they miss out on the experience if they're dead when the battle ends. So I do want to revive them. Now oh, we need to end this. We need to end this. Chess is out of SP. Oh gosh. Go for the weaknesses then. Um, Ulbrich's got a little bit. Uh, but don't hit with that because it's his weakness. And now Cyrus, you know what? Uh, he should be just about there. But he doesn't have a... This just could not be going any worse. Break him. There it is. There it is. There, bro, there it is. Level us for everyone. That absolutely tedious fight. That was supposed to last maybe half the time it actually did last. Oh, boy. We got to end this recording, man. 37 minutes, oh no. I yield. Mm. Now I will have my answers. How do you know Earhart? Aye. We fought alongside each other as all, served together in a band of mercenaries. He was already an old hand when I signed up, helped me out, showed me the ropes. Mm. A cell sword. And where is he now? <laughs> Danged if I know. When our group disbanded, we went our separate ways. After that, I drifted from one town to the next, tried one trade, then another. But swinging a blade's the only thing that's ever come natural to me. So here I am. Times are lean, and a man's got to make a living. Anyone could use a sword arm like yours. You could protect the people, instead of stealing from them. Aye. Aye, I could, but honest work takes more wits than the gods saw fit to bless me with. Never meant to do anyone no harm, but life doesn't always give us a choice in the matter, does it? Oh, my TV's quite loud. I hope it's not being picked up by the mic. Choice or no, you must answer for your crimes. Aye, I know the score, but I've got my men to think about, too. Oi. Easy now, men. 
the Hedge Knight has the right of it. I've got more than enough blood on my hands. Live by the sword and... Well, <laughs> you know how it goes. A man has to own up to what he's done. No. Enough blood's been spilled here today. Surrender, and I will see that you and your men are not harmed. You do me a kindness, Hedge Knight, and so I'll do you one in return. I told you I didn't know where Earhart is, and I don't, but I know someone who might. Aye. Gustav's his name, Sir Gustav. Some call him the Black Knight, or other such fussed up nonsense. Earhart taught us both how to use the sword back in the mercenary band. You should find him in Victor's Hollow. And this man will tell me where Earhart is. Aye. He might. Then again, he might not. Still, if you want to find him that much, I reckon it's worth trying. I, I saw your eyes, Hedge Knight. They were dead, like a fish. But the moment you saw my blade, they came to life. Dead? Have I truly been... <laughs> but what does a common thief know of men's souls? Look! Berg, thank the gods you're safe. The villagers are as well, sir. That's right. Round up the thieves and lock them in the village gal. How do you pronounce that? Gale? Gal? Gold? Berg, I could swear I've heard that. Gods be good! Eisenberg! <laughs> Should have known it, the way your eyes lit up at the mention of Earhart's name. Ah, you're no hedge knight. You're Sir Ulbrich Eisenberg, the Unbending Blade. Huh? What? The Unbending Blade. Listen to Ulbrich's theme right now. This one's so beautiful. Damn it! They said he was slain when Hornberg fell. But, I had heard he lived, but scarce believed it. Until today. Uh, Is it true, sir? Are you a real knight? No. Long ago, lad. Long ago. Let's be on our way. We've kept your mother waiting long enough. You've got it. Oh guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep you here for a long time. I didn't I didn't realize that boss fight would take that long, man. Sometime later. They're just never gonna end the cutscenes. This village has been good to me, but it's time to move on. Oh my gosh, that oh that chord right there is so beautiful. Yana. Like come on now, like, that's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I shall find Earhart, so that I might find the reason I wield this blade. To find a man named Gustav, and, God's willing, Earhart himself. Indeed. Victor's Hollow, the man said. That's where I must go. I had stopped believing that I would one day don these clothes again. The journey will be a long one. And I've no more reason to tarry. Beautiful, man. The story, the music, the visuals, the overall just feel of this part of the story. And I love how at the end of each character's story, their theme just plays out like this. How beautiful is this? <laughs> it's just so beautiful. But enough of that, man. I'm going to save it for the next episode, all right? So if you guys did enjoy, you can always give it a like. If you did not, you can just like, oh, that chord just, bro, it lays me down every time, bro. Bro, if you didn't, if you dislike, bro, dislike the video, I, I yay. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's because I'm so, I'm just so, it, it's the music, bro. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys in a bit, all right? I'm out of here.